Hey, what's up, pop stars? This is Pop Jibbersh. I'm Joe. I'm Shay. And today we're watching the first episode of a new series on Disney Plus uh, called uh, Percy Jackson. Uh, I have read the books. Have you heard about Percy Jackson before? Um, only you mentioning them. Oh, okay. Or mentioning it, yeah. <laughs> So, yeah, i uh, big fan of the books, big fan of uh, Rick Riordan uh, or Riordan, whichever way you say this name, say his name. Uh, I've read the Percy Jackson books, the Heroes of Olympus, um, uh, Magnus Chase, uh, the Kane Chronicles with uh, the Egyptian with Carter Kane and his sister. Uh, but, yeah, this is uh, the first series that he has actually gave the thumbs up on because uh, the movies he apparently hated <laughs> so uh, they uh, were so bad that uh, he basically disowns them all together so uh, this one he actually is personally involved in and uh, yeah we're just going to jump into the first episode if you like what we're doing here go ahead and like and subscribe hit that notification bell so you can get a notification every single time we drop a video uh, to our patrons you're going to get this early uh, you're going to get a watch along as well and uh, to everyone who is not a patron hey we have a patreon join the patreon get this early and watch the watch along and uh, get some exclusives there as well um, outside of that uh, you got anything cool let's jump into it you think you might be one of us my advice is turn away while you still that's awesome this is uh this is how the book starts I'll sense it too and don't actually i think this is how um the king chronicle books start also it's like a recording by the main character saying if you find this you're probably already in danger <laughs> yeah. am i a troubled kid yeah you could say that. Bad grades, bullies. <laughs> Why is he running like that? Was <laughs> I up there? <laughs> I saw something. At least, I could have sworn I saw something. Is that a horse? Yeah. Oh. No, it's a Pegasus. Yeah. It happened again. These impossible things. I felt like they walked right is that a mm, so real one mechanical the next hip oh what a loser. Hmm. not a hippo but a rhino or something mm -hmm. it's not a thing you want to be saying to anyone so i didn't then mm. something changed i'm pretty sure that was in the book i think i met grover okay. we had a lot in common okay and not just because we we're both at the bottom of the food chain and you know what it felt good to talk about these things with grover you could almost believe they were i'm pretty sure he's the kid that was in that uh movie with uh with ryan reynolds where his future self comes back to the past to talk to him as a kid to like save him i guess you see here are the truest and deepest parts of yourselves friends oh wow they got um oh my goodness what's his name the heroes he's chiron not just how it looks but how it makes you feel hmm? okay come on. i can't remember that actor's name i've seen him in stuff before a long time ago but i'm trying to remember his name oh it's not Ben Vereen. Is it Ben Vereen? It can't be Ben Vereen. No. And <laughs> against all odds, he managed to find his way to a happy ending. Funny enough, Perseus was the, the main character in Wrath of, Wrath of the Titans. Okay. I'm right here, sweetie. Mommy's here. <laughs> so mean. You will learn to control yourself, do you understand? Hey! He can't that... help it, Mrs. Boggs. Percy's special. That's enough. Isn't that, uh... From Will and Grace? Hmm. Isn't she from Will and Grace? Who, oh, him? No, the, the, the woman, the teacher. Um, the teacher. I didn't even watch it. Oh. So I wouldn't know. Hang on to that. Is a mighty instrument. 
and is mightier than the sword. I'm just getting tired of her taking them out on me. Mm. I feel like <laughs> maybe it's time to do something about it. You could make an appointment to see Mr. Kane. You That's how you know your best friends with somebody. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they did it so instinctively, too. <laughs> Be here forever. There are better places out there. <laughs> what the? Percy? Who throws? <laughs> Whoa. Hmm. <laughs> he didn't touch her. Mm -mm. Oh, wow. We're not fools, Percy Jackson. This is Dawes. You okay? Is this gonna play out just like the movie one did? We found you. Yeah, looks like it. Mm -mm. Is it? Whoa! Oh, that the sun or the the sword. She got dusted like. Endgame <laughs> or You're Infinity right. War. <laughs> yeah. The truth can be so very hard to determine. But in this case, the truth seems very hard to deny. Why are they in the dark? <laughs> yeah, why are they in the dark? <laughs> Mr. Underwood arguing with Miss Boba Fett. Yet you. Boba Fett? Where she ended up in that fountain. Other than. Uh, I didn't touch Nancy. He didn't lie. Isn't there anything else you'd like to say for yourself? I didn't touch Nancy. <laughs> Grover? And he isn't being truthful about what happened at the fountain. Grover, excuse me. Are you saying you saw Mr. Jackson assault Miss Bobo? Well, that's difficult to happen. Mm -mm -mm. When you least suspect it. Not for you. Yeah. I know you think you didn't. Do you want to tell me what you think did happen? He looked like Samuel Jackson a little bit right there. <laughs> you think so? Yeah, that's. It was a look he did that reminded me of him. Oh, I see. I'm gonna have to look his name up because he, he's. Yeah, he was in. He was a. A general in different world, a different world. Oh, that was him. Everything's mm -hmm. so dreary. Yeah, very. Have you considered eating more fruit? Hey, I eat plenty of fruit. Have you considered eating more fruit? Good gracious. Oh, hello, Percy. Hey, Eddie. Sorry about that. Well, I'm walking out. You're walking in. I should be apologizing to you. <laughs> I'll explain a little bit. Okay. Is my mom mm -hmm. home from work? Oh, is that all you got to say to me? Huh? Mm -hmm. After failing out of school? I fail out of school? The principal called, and that's what he said. He's so tall for a 12-year-old. They called mom's cell. You answer mom's cell? I answer whatever's ringing. That's a pretty average. Song. So I attacked the kid on the field trip. Okay. All right. If, but still, if you're going to live under my. <laughs> he was okay with that. <laughs> what does it look like I'm doing right now? Losing at imaginary poker? You would think that because you're a child and you don't understand things Where's like. Where's my mom? Your mom is. I'm not Nostradamus. What are we doing, person? <laughs> I'm. Wow. <laughs> Why you say it like that? <laughs> That's actually probably the better, the right pronunciation, though. Now that I think about it, <laughs> Nostradamus. Mom. 
Have you ever just sat out in the rain like that? No. Time to pick up your welcome home gift. Mm, nothing like a mother's love. Mm. Mr. Bruner called me. And she understands him. Yeah. Sunday morning. Whoa, 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 whoa. Since when are you going to Montauk? I called to reserve the place as soon as I got off the phone with Yancey. Who's Yancey? The school. <laughs> okay. <laughs> exactly. Am I okay with this? Because on my way home on Sunday, I'm going to stop at D'Angelo's and pick up sandwiches in time for tips. Hey. <laughs> D'Angelo's. <laughs> my sandwich and yours while I listen to the game on the radio. You know, I hate watching the Knicks alone. So do I. Let's make sure they put the hot peppers on my sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> Have them put the peppers on my sandwich. You got it. <laughs> Take your shoes off before you get in my car. You understand? What? <laughs> Who does that? We have a lot to talk about. <laughs> Storm out there, it's getting angry. Is it a time jump? Hmm. I said, was that a time jump? Isn't this, doesn't this go back to how it started? Who are you? He was walking in the rain. I think so. Weak. So scared. Is this a dream? So sad. Run away, little. Are they going to do a jump scare? <laughs> or you get hurt. Oh, I thought they were, I was preparing wow. myself for a jump yeah. scare. You jumped too, and it didn't even do anything. Wow. I wanted to. <laughs> you wanted to jump? I, I was like, I was preparing the, myself for a jump scare. The music yeah. psyched you out. You jumped, and it wasn't even nothing that happened. <laughs> it was a subverting expectation there. They, I guess we expected a jump scare and didn't get a jump scare. That was. <laughs> you wanted it to be a spider. No, I definitely not. <laughs> what is why, why bring that up? You but no one else to see. The lighting in these shots are really good. Mm -hmm. What did she say to you? Hmm. She knew what? it was a she. How did she know it was a she? Probably taunted her too before. Met a man here on the beach. He was wise and brave and kind and noble. What was he though? The moment I first saw him, I knew that that I was he a merman <laughs> or of sorts. I realized he was unlike any man I had ever met before. Fallen angel. God. You fell in love with God? A fallen <laughs> God. Or... Mm -mm. <laughs> Who's there? Is it Jackson? It's Grover. Grover? This is a mm -hmm. little time sensitive. Could someone maybe open the door? What is he doing here? I don't want to see him. Right. Fake. Whatever it is you're going to say, I don't want to hear it. Grover? Percy? Okay, so something's coming. Grover. And I know, that sounds really bad. Grover. But the important thing is not to panic. He's <laughs> on his feet. Oh. Oh, boy, she didn't tell you about... You didn't tell him about me? You're early. <laughs> so the important thing is not to panic. <laughs> So was he sent there to the school on his behalf so he wouldn't feel alone? The mist kept her hidden even from us until it was too late. Mist? What's a mist? The mist. It's the veil that hides the magical world from the human world. Mm. Legs, Dodds' wings, even Dodds' absence. 
But it isn't supposed to hide things from me. That never happens. Something mm. here. The sooner we get you to camp, the better off you're. Mm -mm. About camp, right? Not yet. No. Camp is a sanctuary for half bloods. A safe space where you can learn who you are and what the world is like on. I, I feel like he should be freaking out right now, but for some reason he's not. <laughs> I don't know if that's just an acting choice or... What else haven't you told me? I think he's just trying to take it all in. Yeah, maybe. Is that the Minotaur? Once the attacks start, they never let up. And I think he knows that there's something going on. He's just... He's wearing underpants. He's just processing everything. <laughs> We're training. Everything has been training for what's still ahead of you. What's ahead of me, boy? So that card yeah, game that they were playing, it, there were real creatures on there that actually exist, and he was basically trying to teach them about those creatures oh. by using the card game to do it. Gotcha. <laughs> That's cool. Yeah, I was, that was not a good move. Um, you said what? That was not a good move. Oh, trying to <laughs> ram it? I can't remember if this, if this is how it happened in the books or if something that changed. Things are familiar, some things are familiar and other things are like, I don't know if that's how it happened, but I mean, it, it looks, everything is looking great so far. Oh boy, it's gonna be mad about his car. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> he told her to take his shoes off in his car. It's like mm. she just wrecked it. This way. Wow. Oh, that's a nice shot. What's happening? Swear it, Grover. Keep him safe from anyone or anything that comes for him that wants to do harm, that looks at him the wrong way. Do you? <laughs> Me. I swear. Mm -mm. She said anything that even looks at him the wrong way. <laughs> right. I gotta go now, sweetheart. Go? What do you mean, go? I can't go with you. There's a little bit of a glow filter for some reason. Almost like it's a memory. Singular. You're a miracle. You are my son. I don't think you have time for this. What are you gonna do? He smells half blood. That's what he's tracking, yeah? That's right. So if he smells you in two directions at once, maybe I can confuse him, buy us both a little time to get away. Mom, please don't. Is something gonna happen to her? It'll be okay. Um. She doesn't have a car. I know what happens to the book. I don't know if they're gonna do it in the in the show. Actually, I know what happens in the book and the movie, but I don't know if they're how they're gonna do it in the show. <laughs> He's got the underwear. <laughs> so weird. Go. Rick Reardon is a weird writer. He writes some <laughs> oddball stuff. I don't think this is gonna work if the Minotaur sees them leaving. I thought it was the whole point. It's like like the the smell. Oh, maybe you couldn't see him. Maybe you didn't see him. Uh. <laughs> Toro. <laughs> What's wrong with Grover? No, 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 no. Was Grover hurt? I didn't see him. I didn't see anything happen to him. He just fell down. He didn't take it right into his head. I don't know. Get him in the head. No, like in between his eyes. Ooh. Uh -oh. What is that? Cause the just a rock. A big rock. 
It's not, not bad CGI there for a TV show. It is in the dark though. Oh wow. That was brutal. <laughs> you must be the one. Hush, Annabeth. Oh, Annabeth. Give him some space, please. Hmm. <laughs> Welcome to camp, Percy Jackson. Oh, wow. That's a huge... Expecting you. Huge horse. Oh. <laughs> okay okay um so yeah that was episode one um it's seems like it's following the book pretty closely um definitely way more close or way closer than the movie did um cool thing is they added some things that um seemed like it was like left out in the movie that basically kind of because I, I guess the movie had to move faster because it was a movie it only had like an hour and a half or so uh to do it so this has like more episodes so it can kind of pace it out a little bit more mm -hmm. so that was cool um because they kind of rushed through that whole first portion of it um in the in the movie and um everything seemed like they just kind of like skipped a whole bunch of stuff but <laughs> that last shot with uh, Chiron. So Chiron uh, was in the movie was played by, uh, I want to say Pierce Brosnan. Um, and so he was like this older white dude uh, who used to, he played, uh, um, I don't know if you met, or not met, I don't know if you know who Pierce Brosnan is. He was in, uh, he played one of the uh, 007 uh, in, uh, in 007. He played James Bond, basically. Okay. Anyway. The, um, the CGI in the movie made him look more natural as a centaur. Like, the, the horse portion wasn't as big. Oh, okay. <laughs> this, it looked awkward because the, the man portion was, such, was so small compared mm -hmm. to the horse portion. But, I mean, it's probably more accurate because horses tend to be, you know, bigger creatures, you know? So compared to a person so if you were to just take the top half of a person and put it where the the generally where the neck portion of a horse is i guess it would basically look like that mm -hmm. but it just looked weird especially in profile when you see it's like this really long horse with this tiny little human body attached to it uh but yeah I want, oh wait i want to see what is uh, what that guy's name was um i'm sure let me look it up real quick what are your thoughts? Um, for me, so far, i taken in information um, as far as what is showing me about <laughs> the um, about the show. So, um, Glenn Terman. Glenn Terman. Glenn yeah. Terman. Okay, yeah, yeah. Um, I mean, so far I like it. Uh, have you seen the Percy Jackson movies? No, I haven't. Oh, okay. See, we should have watched those first. Then, then that way you kind of have some context. Because without reading the book, I mean, honestly, this is it's probably better that you don't because you don't have a frame of ref reference, so you can kind of just go into it fresh, and so there's no expectation. So basically, you're the you're the don't know much about the Percy Jackson storyline viewpoint and I'm the read the books saw the movies you know viewpoint so that's good it, it's fine it's fine so it's good that you don't have that what do you think about uh like the characters and like Percy Jackson or the, the was it Walker Scobell um as a character now, this is spoilers I don't want to see who Annabeth is I just um, saw who Annabeth was <laughs> Walker Scobell is a um, very good actor I think they did a good job portraying him um, small um, as a small version mm -hmm. versus as a 12 year old they did a really good job um, mm -hmm. with having him look like there wasn't much change in 
from when he was a child to him being older. So mm-hmm. finding a look alike. Oh, they go they from like the him. younger to the. Ver- mm-hmm. What's funny is they did a good job with that. I know in in Hollywood, I know they always cast older children to play or older people to play younger part parts. Mm-hmm. So like he he only looks like a 12 year old 12 year old when he's around other kids but as soon as he's around adults he almost looks like he's like around 16 or 17 years old because he looks older he looks older with adults than he does like with other kids you're like okay so they're all around 12 ish or whatever the case is you know Mm. but he just he looks so tall you know when he was standing at the door and he was talking to um the the guy oh i wanted to explain what that guy was okay so basically you know how in harry potter um harry had to stay with the dursleys as and it was like a reason for it um like it was a way to camouflage him from being found by he who shall not be named voldemort or whatever the case is it's the same situation with um with uh percy jackson so they got with or she got with him because he had a very repugnant smell that was so strong that it threw off what were monsters would like use to oh, smell wow. <laughs> Plus, yeah it's so messed up um is that why she was outside in the rain probably no actually i think more of the more of the fact that she was outside in the rain because the water rushing around her and on her reminds her of uh percy's father um, Makes sense. who they'll ex- they'll explain who that is um so i mean I've read the books and watched the movies, so I already know pretty much all that whole storyline um, and like who all these other characters are. But I'm basically trying not to say too much so it doesn't spoil it for you. Like I think earlier I said um, um, uh, Glenn Turman's character's name before they revealed who he was, but it didn't because you hadn't read anything or known anything about it you didn't really say oh that's a spoiler because you didn't know who that what that name was so um but i'm gonna try not to do that from this point forward because i it was a it was a a reflex i was like oh that's so and so i'm like oh crap (laughs) i wasn't supposed to reveal that yet (laughs) but yeah this is a good first episode um If you like what we're doing here, go ahead and like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you can get a notification every single time we drop a video. Uh, to our patrons, you're going to get this early, and also you're going to get to watch along. Uh, to everyone else, if you want to become a patron, go ahead and click the link to become a patron. It should be down in the description down below. And uh, like and subscribe. And uh, that way you can actually basically see us watch these episodes and any other show that we have going on. Uh, we will be posting a little bit more regularly. We took a little bit of a hiatus before, uh, but uh, yeah, we're going to jump back into it. And uh, yeah, hopefully you'll be with us. Cool. You got anything? Nope. All right. Peace out.